this is my discussion, dissuasion, dissuasion. When you want to change somebody's mind, maybe you convince them one way and you want to convince them another way, or they had their mind made up about something, meaning they decided to do something a certain way, and you would like to change your mind to do it the way you want. Okay? So this is dissuasion. Now I will go through the dialogue and we will talk about and I will point out words or give definitions to words which you might not know. Okay? Let's begin with dialogue one. First sentence here, why? I will read it first and then go back over. Why on earth do you want to take the motorcycle driving test? Okay, so we need to explain it. Why on earth here means, you know, for goodness sake, so why do you want to do it? It's a very, say why on earth is a way of, of uh, emphasizing something. You might just say, why do you want to take the motorcycle driving? Test, and that's sort of normal, but when we say, why on earth? We're sort of saying, what, are you crazy? What are you doing it for? Okay, so the on earth added to why gives it a certain emphatic meaning. Okay, we go to, down to the next one, to go to my law lectures. I'm tired of going by bus. Undoubtedly, this must be a student, and he's going to law lectures. In other words, he's going to take classes in law, and when he attends the classes, the professor will lecture or discuss uh, the topic or the lesson that he has pointed, has decided to present. And then he says, I'm tired of going by bus. Okay. Here we say, I am tired. Well, it doesn't mean really that he's tired. It doesn't mean I'm, oh, God, I'm going by bus. And I'm exhausted. No, I'm tired means I am bothered by the idea of going by bus. I'd rather do something else. Go down to the next sentence. Do you realize what this is likely to cost? Your father will certainly try and talk you out of it. Do you realize? Well, I think that's pretty straightforward. What this is likely to cost? Where well, the word likely might be something you don't know that we use, but it means that there, are you aware of the cost? Are you aware of the cost? Then, next part, your father will certainly try to talk you out of it. Well, to talk you out of it means that your father probably will discuss this with you and try to dissuade you from taking the test. He's going to speak to you, and you out of it means you simply um, are going to uh, change your mind, want to change your mind. Next sentence, I'm not going to change my mind. Okay, change my mind means I'm not going to do otherwise. I'm doing what I want to do, but I'm not going to do what my father wants to do or what you want to do. Change my mind. Okay, though it's just because I'm a girl. Well, now we find out it is a girl, and we usually don't think of girls riding motorcycles. Go down to the next sentence. Now, have you really decided? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Well, now means, you know, right at this moment. Have you really decided? Let's go down to the next part here. I'll go here to dialogue number two. Now we come to this one. 
and we'll take a look at it. Look, look, look means means uh, give me your attention. Look, I really don't want to go to that dinner tomorrow night. I know it's a specific special occasion, but I'm going to have to make up some excuse. I'm just too tired. So we go back up and I explain that look, so it means give me your attention. I really don't want to go to that dinner tomorrow night. I know it's a special occasion, but I'm going to have to make up some excuse. Make up. Well, make up means I will try to invent or try to create some excuse. I'm just too tired. Next sentence. But you accepted the invitation last week. Everyone's expecting you. Now you can't just drop out just like that. What would people think? Okay, you accept, I think, the invitation last week. Everyone's expecting you now. Expecting you now, not this moment. But it means everyone's expecting you uh, when you go to the meeting. You can't just drop out. Okay, drop out is another phrasal verb. And drop out means you, you cannot just cancel. Okay, you can't cancel at this moment. Like that, which means you you can't cancel uh, without some preliminaries of some type, without uh, uh, discussing it with somebody. You can't just drop out. You can't just cancel it without some type of discussion. What would people think? Oh, I'll get out of it somehow. I'll say I've got a prior appointment. Okay, we go back, oh, oh, well, you know, oh, some extra explanation of some type, right? I'll get out of it somehow. Get out the way. We've already started talk. I'll get out, or I'll find a way to cancel it somehow. I don't think you should do that. Have you thought what would happen if Mr. O'Neill found out? Well, found out is another phrasal verb, as I said before. In real English, we use a lot of phrasal verbs. We just love them better than to say what we, what would be the standard Latin word, which would be more formal. Which found out things, we could say discovered. Okay, what would you happen if Mr. O'Neill discovered this, okay? You could be creating certain problems for yourself. Okay. Yes, I suppose you could be right. Right in this sense means not the uh, left right. The right means correct. I suppose you could be correct. And I expect there will be quite a few influential people there as well. Perhaps I shouldn't go looking for trouble if I can avoid it. Well, looking for trouble simply means, you know, looking for trouble, another phrasal verb, means I shouldn't try to create a problem for myself. I shouldn't try to create uh, some type of trouble for myself. Looking for trouble is sort of like creating something. That's more like it. Okay, that's, that's more like it. Take my advice. You'll be wrong not to go. It could be useful, and you may even enjoy it when you get there. Okay, that's more like it means that's what I want to hear from you. I want you to change your mind. I want to dissuade you from canceling, right? That's more like it. Take my advice means uh, take my advice. I think you probably know what that is. Uh, I will go down to the 
words that they have, uh, which are I will pronounce, and so it will maybe help you to learn it better that way. Motor, prior, suppose, influential, wrong, useful. Okay? This is the end of this lesson. I will see you on the next lesson.